Hi everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the silent E. So I made this little anchor chart to show you some words that have a silent E at the end and to explain how it works. So it says here, when he shows up at the end of a word, he makes the first vowel say its name. So in words that end with an E, some of them are C, V, C, E words. So the C stands for a consonant and the V stands for a vowel. So vowels, remember, are the letters A, E, I, O, and U. So it's a consonant and then one of those vowels, another consonant, and then an E at the end. And if you have one of those words, then it most likely will follow this rule. Not all of them though, but some of them do. So there's the word cape here. If we didn't have that E on the end, it would just be cap. But since there's a silent E, it bonks the A on its head, that first vowel on its head to make it say its name. So it says cape, cape. Down here we have the word bike. If it didn't have that letter E on the end, it would be bick, b -ick. But it has that silent E, so it bonks the first vowel on its head to say its name. So it's an I, so it says I, b ike, bike. All right, here's another word. This is cake. And if it didn't have an E at the, at the end, it would say cack. But since it has that silent E, it bonks that first vowel on its head to say its name. So it says the sound A, k, ache, cake. All right, here's the last one, and that's a snake. So if it didn't have that silent E, it would say snack. And since it has the silent E, the E bonks that first vowel A on its head to say its name. So it will say the sound A. Ache. Let's blend it together and it's snake. All right, thank you. Now you can build some words. These four words and other words that you know that have silent E on the end, um, you can build them out of Play-Doh. If you have magnet letters or letter beads, you can write them in a journal. You can do rainbow writing with them. All right, enjoy.